That way my swan stands up. That's the front. And you want a swan that stands like up in that crab, right? Okay. Don't eat it. at the end, that's fine. After I take my pictures, you get an envelope in the mail the day you are published or show up on TV. You get to get it. Anyway, uh, this is what we're going to do. Uh, basically, it's a this series of consecutive V cuts to create some kind of flow on there and then it's going to be amazing. Uh, use a sharp knife, straight cuts, huh? straight cuts. So I'm going to go from here. I'm going to do one side so I don't give you enough time for this. Today, after this, we're going to clean up. It's very little. Huh? So I'm going to do, take care of this stuff and a few dishes, and, and we're going to be done in no time. So we can go up to 2 o'clock if you need to. First, I'm going to decide which way my wing is going to go. I'm going to start from the wing, right here. Okay. Now, this is going to go the direction of my, my knife, basically. Right? You want a wing that is going to span upwards, right? So as this is my first wing, I'm going to go in here. You'll see, you will see the first cut, but then you'll see the difference. I'm going to make a little cut here and here. And again, it's a consecutive V cut. Now, I have some green on a apples for you guys that came in today. They're very firm. This one is a little older, so it's a little soggy. Now, what makes this look good is a repetition, the uniformity, same things, huh? and clean, very clean cut. So from here, I'm going to do a V cut. The more you do, the thinner do you do the lines, the better it looks. No question about it. Next to it, right? My apple's a little soggy, so it's giving me a little trouble. And there, but other than that, it should just as good. Do one cut, two cuts. Try to keep the cuts very close together. Now the importance of this is that I, I, is my cut is clean. I try to make it straight as I can. If I start sewing too much and I get little edges in there, it's going to be a problem. Uh, second, I'm trying to keep the same thickness in all those cuts so I get the same effect in the wing. Might turn out more of a 90 degree cut. That's okay. If you change the angle of this V cut, you, well, you're going to just start breaking up all this. Wait, so you see this one for a second will be bigger, right? Okay. Now, if you go too deep in here, you're going to hit the core, which I just did. If you go too wide on the angle, so I recommend a 45 degree, you're going to use up the rest of it. So that's one wing. Now, I'm I'm not going to do this one so I can finish time, but if I go here, I'm going to do the same thing. Of course, I want to see which way it's going to go, right? You want to win the match. You don't want to swarm like this. Like, well, you want it to spin up this way. So you do it this way now. And for the tail, I want to stop right on top here. Start right on top. And I'm going to make again for a second because this one you might not see a lot of it. But look, look at this. I'm working in order here. The more lines you do, the finer they are, the better it looks, no question about it. So don't play too safe either, you know, just to do four lines, but... Gotta have a shot knife. So I'm just gonna do the tail on one side so I can show you the finish. And what happens, I purposely broke that one in there, so I can show you what happens if you break it. It's okay. But the apple is not a big deal, it will patch together. Now, the apple will change color if it's left for too long, so I can do this ahead of time and maybe keep it in acid water. But the apple will hold together, so it'll be fine. I'm 
try not to saw too much. And I had to do that just to get through the skin because it's soft. But after that, try to cut as, as clean as you can, one cut. Everybody with me so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna just leave. Let me do one more here. Let's finish this guy here. What's gonna happen? A um, couple of things to finish this. I'm gonna grab the same pieces in the same order, okay? And we're gonna basically space them out a little bit. Remember, I was talking about those lines, that ratio in nature? Sometimes that's the leader. So, what you're gonna do is, it has to be in the same order so they actually match the distance and we fit in the next spot. Again, if these guys are broken, make sure at least they're straight cuts. So he was gonna do the, the trick. You know what's even better about this? Uh, not just this, but any. You might see a little bit of imperfection in there. Screen. That's cute. It goes away on the screen, the pictures. That's another thing. It takes away all the little imperfections. So I'm gonna grab now this guy here. And my wing went a little bit in, more inside than I wanted to. you get to that point you know it's really taking away a lot of the things like just a little little details now what happens the big finish you can do all that right but if you <coughs> some research so I can get in there with it's always a little chance you take in there but Of course, I would do the other wing here, right? It's the same thing that I did. So I can finish it now. I'm going to make a little. It takes a lot of uh, imperfections away when you look at the screen and all the pictures and all that. So, um, you know, you got to work with it, play with it. This one is getting a little dry now. It's been out for a while. So same thing, you know. But, uh, Anyway, I want to see everybody working the swan here so we can get some. It'll make like a good penguin over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see what we come up with, right? Yeah, that's the last of your sign. That's the penguin. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Penguin. Vulture, right? <laughs> 